Hey, this is Edwin from Making an Impact, and I'm going to jump into exactly what this video is about today. What to say when you first start email marketing, especially in 2023. Now, if you don't know what to say, if you don't know how to make sales from your email list, if you're afraid to ask for money in your emails, uh, if you don't have time to write your emails, or you struggle with the perfectionism, a whole list of problems that we're going to take a look today, how you can get past that stuff really, really, really quickly. And in a minute, I'm going to show you how you can just grow your subscriber count and your subscriber engagement totally for free in a passive background as you sleep way. But before we do so, we just got to get you know into the nuts and bolts in this. And it all starts with get started. This is you know easily the biggest mistake I made starting my businesses. I... Everybody told me this, you like, you got to build your list and you got to send them emails. And I was so afraid of, you know, sending too many emails. I didn't want to burn my list. I didn't want to put a bad taste in their mouth. I didn't want people to start unsubscribing. I didn't want to be a pest and bug people and spam people. I didn't know what tools to use. I, I, you know, I didn't want to send too many emails. I didn't know, like, I'd sit there and look and be like, what do I even write in this email? Like, it's just a blank page. What do I even come up with? And I have to come up with this. Like, I have to try and do this every single day. It's just uh, craziness, right? So we're going to talk about the simplest email sequences you can put together today. Like this, you know, it should not take very long at all, at all. Now, at the, like I said, it starts with get started. So even if you don't use any of the stuff here today, just get started and start writing. If you know, I'm not even say try, you know, start writing one email a day. If you can just write one email a week and at least be sending your list one email every single week, now you've got a weekly newsletter. Um, and he, you know, here's the 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 funny thing about these emails: you don't have to overcomplicate them. Um, you're probably familiar with the concept of a minimum viable product, right? So a minimum viable product is basically just where you go and create something. It's not perfect, but it's got the basic building blocks it needs to be effective and get the job done. So what does an email when your email marketing need to have in order to get the job done? It's really simple. All your emails need is either a pain or a desire that you're going to fulfill. Okay. So this is either a painful problem that your customers deal with. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want cookies <laughs> um, or a, like a, a desire, like I want cookies. Okay. So either one of those um, and a call to action. That's it. That is all your email needs. All right. So you can literally send out an email today saying, Hey, do you want to end, you know, your back pain? Click here to book a call with us. We've got a new program running whatever whatever it is you do like that's it that's all and, and here's the crazy thing that's going to cut through the noise immediately if you send an email out that simple it's better than nothing and it, it'll actually probably shock people because they'll, they'll think it's a real human being then because it's so short and terse and, and simple and direct and to the point um they'll probably respond okay so that's just like if if you get nothing else from this video today like there's nothing stopping you from writing an email today that just says Hey, if you have pain or hey, if you want desire, <laughs> click here to, you know, end your pain or to, um, you know, get the thing that you want. Like that's, that's all you got to, you know, say. Um, and you can even put in the PS, you know, here's what's going on. Now, if you want to supercharge this, if you want us to get fancy, you could tack a third thing on, which would be either a testimonial or a case study. All right. So again, basic building blocks here that you need to, to be able to say there's no excuses. After you've seen this video today, you have no excuses for not sending your email list, at least a weekly email, if not a daily email. All right. And it, if, as long as you got these three things, you you have a foundation and you can build from there and get fancier. But if you just say, you know, in the subject line, put the pain, painful problem there or the desire that they want, uh, you know, new hairdo, um, hairdo, hairstyle that suits you. OK. And then in the subject line. And then your call to action, you know, basically you just say like, hey, you struggling to figure out uh, what kind of hairstyle um, suits you? Click here to book a book a, a, an appointment or a consultation and uh, I'll help you pick the haircut of your dreams. Um, by the way, here's, you know, what Sally got last week and here's what she had to say. Sally, oh, I can't believe this is the best haircut I've ever gotten. You know, Jamie, the hairstylist is the best. You have to go and see him. Okay, boom. That, that's your email right there. Like that simple. And if, if you're doing like a local business like that and you got people coming in every single day, if you just take the, the 30 seconds to ask them like, what was your experience? And you just write it down, boom, 
that's your case study. And you can start sending that every single day and you just let the results speak for themselves, right? Let the testimonial or the case study speak for itself. Um, and it's, it's that simple. Uh, and, you know, since it's simple, <laughs> most people it's just kind of discard it and they don't do anything with it, right? It's like a push up. It's simple. You still got to do the work though. You still got to go down and up. Um, and if you just do that at least once a week, if not once a day, boom, you can immediately start nurturing your email list and making sales and everything like that. All right. Now that's the super, super basic method. There are obviously more and more advanced ways you can start to get more creative. What I like to do is let's uh, erase this here real quickly is create one of those inbound marketing funnels and your inbound marketing funnel. I'm just going to put IMF. Your inbound marketing funnel works by giving people something for free, some sort of lead magnet, something for them to download or a free, free sample like that. Immediately you ask them to go do the thing that you want them to do, you know, go buy now, do this call to action, go book an appointment with us, whatever that thing is. Most people aren't going to do it. So you got to add them to your email list or your phone list, whatever it is. And when you do this over here, I like to create a series of welcome emails, right? You've probably heard of email sequences, everything like that. There's bajillions of templates you can go out there and download, just Google search, boom, you're off to the races. But there's a, there's a specific strategy that I like to follow personally that I find uh, works really well. Um, so to erase this again, again, right, right here, when they become a, a new subscriber, all right, so let's say they just became a new subscriber, immediately, what I like to send them is something called an infiltration sequence. Now, infiltration, um, this I got from a guy named Daniel Levis. He uh, has some amazing email stuff, you know, definitely sign up for uh, his, his courses if you can afford it. Um, uh, and and basically what this is, is this infiltration email is what's called a long form email. Okay. So a long form simply means it's going to have a lot of text. Like this is going to be a, a long thing. It's going to be kind of like a story element to it. You know, this is, this is like one of those more finely crafted, you had to think and be creative and be strategic when you wrote, wrote your email. Yeah. I, I, I'm not telling you to start there. Start with the MVP email. I just showed you a, a minute ago um, and write several of those and start sending those out. Get that going. Okay. Get your MVP going. But then eventually next step is you want to start creating what's called like an infiltration series. And this infiltration email is going to be longer. And the, the structure here is, you know, you've got some sort of hook uh, or you've got some sort of story that starts at the top, um, maybe some sort of metaphor or life lesson that's, again, talking about the, you know, the painful problems uh, or the desires that they want. It's, you know, really that easy. All you got to know is like, what painful problems do people have who don't have my product or my service? What desires do they have if they don't have my painful product and, and my service? Talk about those things, or, you know, come up with a fancy hook or, or a story that, that gets them engaged. Um, you know, Daniel Levis, his, his are really cool. A lot of times he'll talk like about a movie actor or, you know, you know, start with like, you know, in uh, like one, uh, my, my favorite was like an analogy, uh, you know, you're driving down the highway and um your car, you know, peters out, you pull over to the side of the road, you get it towed to the shop. And, you know, you, 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 you when, when, you know, it pulled, you know, when it, when it pulled over to the side of the road, you realize that the battery had died in the shop. So you had to get it towed, you get it towed to the shop and the, the shop owner is like, well, okay, here's the, you know, bad news. The, the battery is going to cost you, you know, a hundred dollars to change. Um, but the battery really isn't your problem. This other, I don't know, I don't know anything about cars, so forgive me, but the alternator here or whatever, I don't know, the, something else in the engine, uh, that really has to actually be replaced. And that's going to be $1,500 to replace. Um, and, you know, I, I, what I could do is I can, I can fix your hundred dollar battery, but you're going to be stalled out on the side of the road within an hour of, of leaving here. Um, so I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but you really need to, you know, invest the $1,500 in order to stay on the road and keep going. Okay. So that's like kind of the story that Daniel Levis is, you know, using in very poetic language. And, uh, you know, I, obviously at the end there, basically he's making the point like, Hey, if you, you know, are struggling with this in your life or in this in your business, um, and you've been chasing all these little like replace the battery solutions, um, but you're not getting the actual dream result you really want. It's because you got a bigger problem here. You got something wrong with the engine. Um, and if you hire us, if you hire me, 
but we're going to fix the engine for you. Um, so click here to book a call. We'll do a deep dive and a consultation, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So this is your more creative long form email here. Uh, I, I, again, the, you can go find all sorts of templates out there. Just like type in long form email, um, maybe story driven email, you know, find yourself some template templates there. And all I like to do is as soon as someone becomes a subscriber, you, you send them this immediately. All right. And it's going to have that hook, that little story, and then your, your call to action um, to go read or consume the lead magnet. Okay. So you're not selling it, selling anything in this email yet. Okay. All you're doing is telling people, Hey, thanks so much for jumping on here. I'm going to create some real great value here. Um, let you know everything you, you can expect, you know, being on my email list. Um, and by the way, here's the thing that you opted in for that you want the free sample or the, the white paper you wanted to read or whatever. So make sure you check it out. Okay. So that's your first email after that sent in the background, this will just be an ongoing project for you. In the background, you eventually want to write, you know, 52 of these so that every single week after someone becomes a subscriber, they receive at least one infiltration email. And this infiltration email is basically going to follow the same format. Now, this one will take a little bit longer. I would say, you know, if you can find like any story based email templates, stuff like that, um, talk about something else you can use here in a minute, too. Uh, you you know, start filling that out, do one a day or at least one a week. And before long, you're going to have 52. Now you, this is your, your weekly newsletter. And this is, you know, doing a ton of goodwill to people. It shows them that, that you care. You're not just about selling in, in these infiltration emails for the most part, just always go back to like, Hey, here's this free sample thing, or here's this lead magnet, go consume it. It's going to be good for you. There's no catch, nothing like that. Okay. So not super salesy. Um, capiche, easy enough. As you've got that going, the other thing I like to send starting just two hours later um, is what I call a consume sequence. So a consume sequence is basically for the next two to three days, two to three days, it's just going to be emailing them reminders to go and read this thing or watch this webinar or you know, check out this cool new thing, get a free sample here, whatever it is. Okay. So your consume email sequence is all about, Hey, go and consume this. All right. And you know, you, this, this could be one email a day. I personally do two emails a day for those first two or three days. Um, you know, one at like 7.00 AM and another one at 10 AM or whatever. Um, basically just reminding people like, Hey, I get it. You know, we all get busy. I just want to make sure you had a chance to check out the awesome lead magnet that we sent over to you. Okay, so that's all it needs to be. Super short, terse emails. It's not long form like this one. It's just like, hey, if you have painful problem or you want desire, here's this lead magnet that uh, we sent over to you. Make sure you consume it before the webpage expires or before you know you, you get busy with life, et cetera, et cetera. That's all you got to do with this email sequence. And then after they go through that, okay, you, you know, you might want to track, okay, did they, did they go and consume this lead magnet? And then did they go and, you know, book a call with us or did they go buy something from us? Uh, if they did not, then let's push them to another sequence, which is the, um, oh, I had a fancy word because I, I call it, you know, a few different things sometimes, but uh, basically, you know, we'll call this the call to action sequence. All right, so the call to action sequence, same thing here, very short and to the point, just, hey, if you have this painful problem or, hey, if you have this dream result that you desire, go book a call with us or go, you know, um, buy the thing. Uh, so whatever your call to the call to action here is, if, you know, you got a brick and mortar business, come in and stop by and, and see us at the shop. Here's a coupon. Um, if you've got, you know, a consultancy business, Go book a call here to get, you know, a free 15 minute consultation and blueprint. Um, if, you know, you've got uh, an agency, you know, click here to get your, you know, do your free collaboration call with us or get your free audit. Um, you know, wh whatever it is, you know, stick that there. Hairstylist, you know, click here to book your appointment today and you'll get 50% off. What, you know, whatever, whatever you, you um, offer you want to stick in there. That's all you got to do. And same thing here, two to three days you know, send, you know, at least once a day, if not two, two times a day, and you're just bumping them up. Um, you, you know, this doesn't have to be rocket science. You might be looking at this like, okay, but I want to see an example. And I'm purposefully not showing you an example, because 
it's that simple and you know, you don't need anything to copy and paste. What I've just told you right here is like all you need to do and in your subject lines too, you might be wondering like, okay, but what do I, what do I put in my subject lines? What do I put? It doesn't really matter. Just keep them short and whatever the painful problem is or the desire, want a hairstyle that suits you? Um, you know, hey, would it be a crazy idea for us to send you a free estimate? Like that's all it needs to be. Uh, really, really, really simple there. And then inside the email as well. Um, and, you know, you don't need to do anything else fancy, uh, nothing like that. Do make sure, you know, you, you, you keep your like unsubscribe link at the bottom of these, you know, just to make sure you're compliant and everything. So yeah, just make sure you got a little link there for people to unsubs unsubscribe and you'll be golden. And that's basically it, you know, for starting off. If you can get this done, uh, you can get this done in a day, like does not take any time. Um, you will, you will see your sales increase. You will see your, you know, books calls increase. Uh, you know, this, this is not, not too terribly difficult. Um, and then the bonus, my favorite one is the last sequence that you stick them in. So if after all of this, they still haven't taken up your call to action, they still haven't bought something from you or booked a call with you, then you stick them in what's called the weekend deadline sequence. Looks like the weapons of mass destruction sequence. So the weekend deadline sequence. Okay. Weekend deadline sequence. All that happens is you wait until the weekend <laughs> and you send an email on Friday, you send an email on Saturday, and you send a bunch of emails on Sunday, um, basically saying, hey, weekend deadline, this all ends at you know midnight. This one I got from Brinker, and this one's just awesome. Um, and, and all you're doing is you know come up with some sort of bonus that you can give people if they take your call to action. All right. So bonus could be that they get, you know, a free half dozen of cookies. Uh, they get a free, um, you know, uh, bottle of hairspray with their, you know, haircut, what, like whatever it is, uh, what, whatever little bonus you can think of um, to, to throw in there. If they do your action before the end of the weekend, throw it in and, and make it that that simple. Um, and you'll be you'll be surprised how many people on that last email that goes out at 10 p.m. on Sunday night, how many people respond to that sucker and book a call or, you know, hit by now. It's it's crazy. But you creating that little bit of scarcity and urgency and the clock is running. It works. It gets people to take action. And if you want to supercharge it, then you just, you know, do this six times <laughs> um, weekend after weekend after weekend. You can come up with a different bonus. doesn't have to be anything too crazy or different, but just each weekend you have a new bonus. And like you just wrote yourself literally like this should not take you more than a couple hours, like two, two to three hours max to, to write all this out and script it. Like you just immediately got yourself two months worth of, of emails going on. Uh, and then if you commit to for the next, you know, 52 days writing one long form email, um, just using a story-based template or something, paint by numbers, stick your stuff in there. Uh, you know, you're going to be really, you know, giving people a lot of goodwill. And this is how to just get this started, get this going. You don't have to worry about uh, emailing people too much. This, this isn't too much. Um, I've only had like a handful of people, you know, using this sequence basically say like, you're sending me too many emails. And um, usually they weren't, they weren't buyers into the first, in the first place. Um, so I'm happy they, they, you know, got off. And I've had lots of other people say like, I'm so glad that you've, you know, stayed in contact and sent me uh, this, this many emails because it was top of mind for me and I was just busy and I'm glad that you were there. So that's basically it. Super, super, super simple. Now, if you want to just grow that even more, uh, basically get more subscribers, my top recommendation, as I mentioned before, you can get uh, subscribers for free and you can you know, further grow your engagement by, if you go to sirenfox.com here, uh, my partner, Paul Murphy, he's got this really cool workshop running on how to get free Google ads. Now, the, the thing about these free Google ads is you can point people uh, from your ads to go and become subscribers. And that's really low labor, you know, low burden on the mind action for these people because they're looking to buy something. And so just getting them to jump on your email list uh, is even easier. And when they do, if you're slapping them with this stuff, oh man, <laughs> you've got buyers going through this process, right? These aren't even people needing to be nurtured. They, they got in Google and they're searching for, uh, you know, the solution to their painful problems. And they're looking for the, the most affordable way or the fastest way to get their desires met. Um, and so now you just stuck them into something like this. Boom. You're going to get lots of people taking you up, you know, buying your thing or booking that call with you really quickly. Um, and then on top of that too, if you know, you, you continue through his, 
uh, trainings and everything, um, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll give you an invitation for working more with him. And he's got even more email sequences and stuff that you can just copy and paste, plug and play, um, everything like that. And, you know, extend this even further um, and, you know, really quickly monetize your email list. Uh, so, you know, definitely comment down below at this stage what you would like to see more of in depth, because I know this is still pretty topical. I know I didn't show specific examples of the emails because I want you to just not get bogged down with like perfectionism. I want you to just, you know, go get it done. It doesn't need to be anything more than painful problem or desire that they want and call to action to get it. <laughs> um, and if you got a case study or a testimonial, throw that in there. Um, or if you got a bonus, throw that on there and, and turn it into a weekend deadline sequence. But otherwise, you know, let me know, you know, what you'd like me to see me go in depth on more in later videos. Uh, for this video, we are running the 24 hour giveaway. So First people who comment in the next 24 hours, what you'd like to see me go in more depth on, uh, you know, you are basically enrolled. We're going to pick one winner out of those people who posted in the first 24 hours. And that person's going to win a vacation to either Las Vegas or Cancun, place of their choice. And the reason we're able to do that, we got a partner who, you know, gets these hotel rooms um, for free because hotels, you know, if they can't book them, then, you know, they're giving them away for free. Uh, he's able to give them for free. And I mean, it's like three, three, uh, three nights, four days, things like that. Um, uh, and it's, yeah, really cool. No weird gimmicks or anything. You're not going to be stuffed in a room and have to listen to a timeshare sales pitch or something like that. It's like literally, literally hassle-free. We give this to our clients. We give this to our best clients, you know, for sticking around with us for a while. Um, you know, they, they love it. Um, and it's, you know, we want to reward business owners like you, uh, who are out there slaving away. Uh, we want to get you, give you a chance to just take a breather and to recharge, to figure out what your purpose is, because uh, we're all about making an impact here, right? We want you to achieve that financial freedom, that time freedom, so that you can go and make an impact in the way you're most uniquely suited to do, uh, you know, whatever that big passion project is that you want to work on. So definitely comment below to, um, you know, enroll in that to drawing, and then also hit the bell and subscribe because my next video is going to be answering all your biggest questions. And I can't wait to see you there. Until next time, stay awesome.